It's finally time to decorate for fall, so join us as we get stuff around the property and make it look cute. I don't store a lot of decorations, especially for fall, because it's such a short season for us. What instead I love to do is to go outside and get things from nature. These pompous grass fluffy things are my favorite. I also love to cut wild grasses from our pasture, get pine cones from the numerous pine trees that we have, and really try to bring outside elements inside to reflect the season. Flameless candles are another thing that I love. I have a bunch of these and I especially pull them out during the fall and winter when I just want something a little bit cozier. We use our diffusers and our essential oils for scent in our house, but there's just something special about the flicker of a candle. And while these aren't of course exactly perfect they are close enough to give us that cozy vibe whenever we're sitting at home in the evening at the dinner table or watching tv and we just want to add an extra element of coziness so every year i have to go through and replace the batteries these actually had gotten a little corroded so i will be cleaning those out and then also putting fresh batteries in and just getting them ready for the season. This was a cute little flower jar, mason jar holder that my mom got me last year and I used it all summer long for my zinnias and all my flowers that I grew and I just decided it was going to be the perfect place to put these candles. They fit in there perfectly and so I'm just going to swap out my jars and put my candles in and use that as a cute little holder to have them in. I love squirrels mostly because I feel like I live with a whole bunch of squirrels so a lot of our fall stuff is squirrel themed and I just love it. I don't keep a lot of fake flowers in the house because I just have to store them if they are not seasonal or whatever. But some flowers for me, especially if you spend the money to get like the really nice realistic looking ones. They go with my favorite decor color, which is like a saffron sunflower yellow. And I really feel like they are three season. They're just beautiful spring, summer, and fall. So I keep these fake ranunculus in there during the spring and summer. But then in the fall, I will swap them out for some of this dried cotton. It's not real. I got it at Hobby Lobby. But I, like I said, while I don't keep a lot of fake things, there are a few that you just can't get um, in nature. Real cotton will dry and end up just falling apart. And because I can't source it very easily, it makes sense for me just to have these two stems of the artificial stuff. But I just love how it looks and it just automatically adds a little touch of fall to this otherwise very summery arrangement. I 
found this picture at our local thrift store and while I don't love the design on the back side, um, the other side, the colors just reminded me of very earthy and fall toned and it just happens to work out that the way I would have to hang it hides the flowers that I don't like. So I'm going to hang it there. I use this picture for all kinds of things, watering plants, filling up diffusers, just a variety of things. And it's just a simple switch that keeps it seasonal, but not um, like holiday themed. The mantle is usually kind of my statement piece because we do spend a lot of time as a family in the living room and it's, you know, definitely the focal point in our living room. So I generally don't decorate all in one day. I am kind of one of those people that has to put something up, live with it, move it around, change it around. I've had some little pumpkins up there on the right hand side and that owl lantern um, up for about a week and I just I wanted something more and so I had found this other little tin that was fall themed also at my antique store and then was able to bring in one of these pumpkins that we accidentally grew in our garden. Um, even when I do decorate with real pumpkins, um, because I don't buy fake pumpkins, I like I said, I don't store them. I always try to make sure that I am purchasing pumpkins that are edible. So you will very rarely ever find me decorating with like a jack-o'-lantern type pumpkin. I very much prefer the edible squashes. Um, I love fairy tale pumpkins are gorgeous. They have an orange color with like a white creamy coating on the outside. Um, the Jardale pumpkins are like a pretty blue color. I always try to do double duty when I have to make purchases like that because once I'm done with those for the fall, then I can store those and then later can them and use them for pumpkin pies and pumpkin bread and just, you know, for us to eat. So that's another thing to think of. If you are on a budget, try to buy things that are gonna do double duty for you and really get the most bang for your buck. Like I said earlier, I don't purchase a whole lot of fake flowers or things like that that I have to store. I just sort of make it a mission to keep all of my seasonal decor for each season in one tub, except for Christmas. Christmas, my boys love to go all out, so we have multiple bins for that. But for fall and for spring, that stuff I've really just kind of cut down and kept some very special things or sentimental things or things that are easy to store. I got this garland this year from Hobby Lobby. All of their fall stuff was 50% off. And I love that it is made out of like individual threads the in, the leaves themselves are made out of threads and so it's going to store very easily for me but also it doesn't look very obvious it's sort of more of a nod to fall with the seasonal colors but it's not fake leaves it's not anything that is really going to just scream fall holidays and that's really just more of my style i like things a little bit simpler I used to have tons and tons of decorations for every holiday and every season and just as the kids have gotten older but also as we have figured out what works best for our family keeping things simple easy to clean around um, easy to put up and also to take down that sort of style just has worked really great for our family and it also pushes me to be creative with the free things that I can find outside so in that respect, I would say, I guess I'm a little bit of a minimalist when it comes to decorating, but I still enjoy decorating. I still like to do it. It's just something that I have to make work within my budget, but also just my threshold of clutter. When things get too cluttered, I get very anxious. And so doing just certain areas or little simple touches really helps keep my anxiety down and makes me not stress about decorating or undecorating.
This little nook in our kitchen sort of holds everything for us. It has homeschool stuff, it has herbs, it has tutoring supplies, china, just a little bit of everything. And that green wreath I keep up most of the year. I just think it's beautiful and it's simple. But this year I was inspired to get something a little bit more seasonal to go here. So I picked this up. Again, I got it at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was perfect because the bow really felt very fall to me and I liked that it was just white and brown and it was simple but I also was thinking that I could swap the bow out and even use it through Christmas and into the winter because of the colors I could just add a different bow or a little sparkle or something and really make it appropriate for more than one season which I just love to do as much as I love to decorate my house and change things up it also gets plenty busy enough that I don't always have the opportunity to do that or sometimes it really just does feel like a little bit of a chore. So having things that work for more than one season for me really just helps keep my stress level down and keeps uh, decorating very enjoyable for me. Another thing I like to do is I like to paint my glassware after I've had it for a little while and I want to change it up. Spray painting it is the easiest and cheapest way to do that. So I've had this vintage milk bottle for a while and I'm just going to add some frosted glass to it. Uh, we had some of this left over after we frosted the windows in our garage. And so this actually lets me build layers so I can decide how solid I want it to be or if I want it to be really sheer. I haven't quite decided yet so I'm just going to start putting on layers and we will see what this turns out like. But it does give a whole different look to the glass. Um, I might even go back and use some sandpaper over the letters just to bring some emphasis to them. I just love that it's an easy way to use up something I already had and to change the look of something that again I had and I just get to enjoy it looking brand new. One of the things that I love to do in order to keep my storage down and my cost of buying decorations down, especially for the fall, is I like to bring in as many natural elements as possible. So last week I went and cut some of the fronds from our pompous grass that we have towards the front of our property. And I love using this just for the simple fact of the color is very muted and understated, um, but it's a good filler also because it's, you know, so nice and fluffy. One of the tricks I have learned for decorating with stuff that you're bringing in from the outside is the first thing is to let it dry well. So like I said, I cut these last week. They've been out in my shop drying for honestly over a week at this point, almost a week and a half. 
this gives the time um, or this gives time for any of the bugs to kind of make their way out of it. Also, it allows any of the extra moisture to dry so that it's not going to mold once you start putting it in your decor or in an arrangement. It also allows any um, like extra things to kind of fall off of it. And I don't know if you can see, unfortunately, one of the negatives with pompous grass is it tends to kind of fluff everywhere. One of the ways that I have found to avoid this is I just spray it lightly with some hairspray before I bring it in and use it in my arrangements. And then that way it sort of makes everything stick together and it holds it in place just like hairspray would for your hair. So, So I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the rest of the things that I got. Another option that you can do when bringing in natural elements is you can always add some color to them with spray paint. Um, I will often use clear spray paint if I don't have hairspray. This is a good option to seal things off and like I did with the hairspray on the pompous grass, just to keep things from kind of fluffing and floating everywhere. You're still gonna get some drop off, but adding some kind of layer of whether it's hairspray or clear sealer or something like that, that is gonna slow the process down of things kind of just sprinkling everywhere as the plant continue to um, continues to degrade. But another really cool option is to actually add some color with spray paint. And so I will especially do this in the winter months. Um, a lot of times I will bring in some fresh greenery for our Christmas decor. I will use magnolia leaves, I will use cedar branches, and things like that just to have a very green and brown kind of rustic theme is what we usually go with. But come January, those leaves don't look quite as nice. And of course, for me, January is always a little bit, in my mind, it should always be snowy, even though in Georgia, um, especially where we live, we very rarely ever get snow. But one thing that I will do is, especially with my magnolia leaves, I will spray them silver or gold because they've already dried at this point. They usually curl quite nicely as they dry. And so just to kind of extend their use, I will go ahead and spray paint them. So in the fall, I tend to go more for warmer colors, more metallics. I have rose gold here. Um, a beautiful, like a burnished copper would be really gorgeous. Um, even just a gold color. I generally stay away from silvers and cooler colors. I like to save those for the warmer months. I mean, for the colder months, for like January. Um, so in the fall, I tend to go towards warmer colors. They usually go with the decor. Um, so this rose gold is going to be really pretty. I picked this from our pasture and we call it dog fennel. I actually have no idea what it's really called, but I'm going to spray this rose gold to one kind of preserve these little hair things that are going to fall off anyways. And also these little seeds to kind of keep those from going everywhere. But then also just to add a different color option into my decor. So you can see here how even though it doesn't really cover up the green, um, it gives it a really pretty shimmer and it gives it just a hint of that rose gold color, which is, you know, of course you're not going to find metallics like this in nature. So it's just another really cheap and easy way to do something different in your decor. And then you're not going to have to save this. When this is done, you're going to chuck it in the trash or in the woods or whatever. And then you have great decor, but you didn't really spend a whole lot of money on it. 
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this inspired you to add a few simple touches to your fall decor, just from nature or even if it's from the store, but you can make things lovely even on a simple budget and just enjoy the season.